Hey, how's it going, friends? Thank you for tuning in to VR Revelations. It is January 18th, the year of our Lord, 2023. It is currently 9.17 p.m. Uh, so earlier this morning, I covered the shocking news here about this helicopter accident, according to reports, uh, where Ukraine's Minister of Interior Affairs died, uh, a very high-ranking official, very well-known, very outspoken, uh, according to War News 24-7, apparently at some point he actually wished Vladimir Putin's death uh, on live TV. Um, I haven't seen the video. If any of you know uh, when that happened, uh, you know, if you could verify that. But, you know, sometimes your own words come around and bite you. And uh, it's not good to wish anybody death. Uh, of course, the only judge is God. Um, but yeah, these things happen, but it is very, you know, very shocking that it would happen at such a critical point when there's rumors that Russia is launching a large offensive. Uh, we just saw that an advisor to Zelensky quit. He resigned and he started criticizing Zelensky. So it looks like the ship is starting to sink. And now on top of that, you have this... Uh, you know, blow to Zelensky's government. And initially, when I first saw it, I thought it was just very strange. I, I mean, it wasn't only him. I think it was like uh, some uh, some other officials, uh, like the minister's secretary or something like that, uh, were also involved. And according to reports, uh, even some children died uh, because of the building that it hit there. It looks like it was a kindergarten. And so the total of deaths, I think, is around 18th. Uh, from what I saw this morning. And so, you know, this is very catastrophic for uh, Zelen Zelensky's government. Um, now, I'm going to show you an article here uh, from the BBC. Apparently, this guy helped Zelensky rise to the presidency. And so, uh, Zelensky sort of gave him this job in 2021, right before Russia invaded. So, this was a very... Uh, you know, high-level figure there around Zelensky, but it is very strange that, you know, so many people died in that helicopter, and, uh, you know, this is like, uh, this is almost like a, like a gift to Russia, right? Without Russia, you know, being directly involved, uh, the fact, I mean, the next thing would be like Zelensky dying in a helicopter crash, that, that would just pretty much put an end to the war, uh, or at least, you know, make it speed up. So the fact that such a high-level person died here very unexpectedly is very strange, and I don't believe it's been getting the coverage that it deserves, oddly enough. Uh, Zelensky briefly uh, mentioned it. Uh, he actually came out on a video at the World Economic Forum, of all places, talking about this death. Uh, we'll actually take a look at the video, but let's take a quick read here, uh, to get a little bit of a background, uh, on this man here, Denise Monastersky. So the BBC says, Denise Monastersky, who has died at age 42 in a helicopter crash near Kiev, is the most senior Ukrainian official to die since the war began almost a year ago. However, he had not long been a member of the Ukrainian government. He became the country's interior minister in July 2021, just six months before Russia invaded the country. Born in the western city of Kamelnitsky in 1980, he initially pursued a legal career in private practice, but entered politics in 2014. Recruited as a legal expert, he was part of the team behind Volodymyr Zelensky's successful long-shot bid for the presidency in 2019. So this guy played a critical role in uh, Zelensky's successful campaign to become president in 2019. Of course, Zelensky, prior to becoming president, was a comedian and uh, actor. Uh, you can go on YouTube and look at some of his performances, which are very cringy, in my opinion. Uh, as a member of the president's servant of the People Party, he was elected to the parliament that same year and swiftly assumed 
a prominent role uh, as head of the Parliamentary Committee on Law Enforcement Affairs. So there you have it. Uh, seems, you know, as far as we know, he was a very close friend to Zelensky and he helped him reach the presidency. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at Zelensky covering uh, his death here and speaking at uh, uh, the Illuminati Economic Forum. I'm sorry, the World Economic Forum. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, take a look here or take a listen. Ladies and gentlemen, ten hours ago, ten hours ago, a tragedy happened in New York. A helicopter crash claimed lives of the Minister of the Internal Affairs of Ukraine, his colleagues, and helicopter crew when it fell near a kindergarten. Fourteen of Ukrainian families lost their loved ones today, and many more, more families are losing daily because of the war. And I shall ask you to honor the memory of every person Ukraine has lost within a minute of silence. Please. So he asked for a minute of silence there. Notice he said that this was because of the war. Now, he can't directly claim it was because of Russia, because Russia attacked it or shot down the helicopter. But he's trying to make it seem like the reason the helicopter had a malfunction was because there's a war going on, which doesn't make sense. But I guess they're trying to make it seem like... Uh, you know, this is all because of Russia. I mean, they're pretty much blaming everything on Russia. And this is, you know, as sad as the news is, it's another opportunity to put more pressure on the United States and all these other countries to send more weapons as things just continue to deteriorate for uh, Zelensky. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for this minute. Only one minute, but it keeps the memory about so many people. Ukraine lives thousands of such minutes, including three minutes on January 14th. Three now, you know, you'd expect more sentiment, more words uh, for a man that, as we read there from the BBC article, helped him get to the presidency right and he seemed like a close friend that's what i find very odd and of course you know you get thoughts of sabotage of uh you know uh, internal fighting between these officials right uh, maybe zelensky turned on him or maybe there was friction between them of course you're going to get all these conspiracy theories but at the end of the day we can't verify any of them but Whatever it is, uh, you know, whatever your theory is or whatever your belief might be, the fact of the matter is that this was a high-ranking official very close to Zelensky, and uh, a lot of things are going bad for him. I mean, can you imagine the, this, like, this accident for you in a very crucial point in the war taking place? Like, uh, it, it's almost... You know, it's almost unbelievable. It's it's almost as if it was uh, something supernatural, right? Um, you know, the Native Native Americans uh, used to have a saying for whenever somebody died, they would ask, was it an act of God or an act of man? And uh, certainly, I think there there's always going to be speculation around any high-profile death, uh, but... As you know, if, if we take what both sides are saying, the Ukrainians and the Russians, uh, this does seem to be an act of God, right? Um, now, again, terrible, yes. Uh, but we understand that at 
you know, we can all die at any point, whether it's from a heart attack or a car crash or whatever it is. Uh, you know, our, our life, like the Bible says, is like a vapor that is for a little while and then vanishes away. That's why you have to be uh, in line with God and you have to be ready to leave this earth at any moment and, uh, you know, answer for everything you've done here upon earth. Uh, of course, if you repent of your deeds, then and you accept the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, then, you know, you're forgiven of all your evil deeds. And we're all sinners, guys. That's the truth of the Bible. We're all sinners. But the key is to get straight with God before you leave this earth, because, again, at any moment, something like this can happen. Uh, again, it's very, like I say, it's very shocking that it happened to the to an official in the Ukrainian government at such a crucial point right now in the war. But again, you got to also watch what you say because uh, let's go ahead and take a look here at this article from 24-7 News. Um, it says, The Ukrainian minister who wished live for Vladimir Putin's death is dead. Right? What does the crash of the Super Puma in Kiev signify? The leadership of the Ministry of Interior has been cleared. As the beginning of the end of the Ukrainian government, a Russian analyst described the crash of the Eurocopter EC-225 LP Super Puma helicopter in the Bravari region of Kyiv, which sent the leadership of the Ministry of Internal Affairs to their deaths. We remind you that the crash happened 24 hours after the dismissal of Vladimir Zelensky's advisor, which I also covered. Uh, uh, again, this is the advisor that said that the missile that fell on those apartment buildings uh, was due to Ukrainians' air defenses shooting it down, and then he pretty much uh, got criticized by everybody in Ukraine, especially government officials, and so he resigned, and then after that, he started criticizing uh, Zelensky, calling him a moron for pretty much all the decisions he's making, so you have that guy, a close advisor to Zelensky, resign, and then you have the death by a crazy accident, and then you have the death of his interior minister um, through a crazy accident. So it's like, what? I mean, how many more signs could could you have, right, of impending doom? Uh, pretty, pretty uh, uh, incredible. Um, which sent the leadership of the Ministry of Internal Affairs to their deaths. We remind you that the crash happened 24 hours after the dismissal of Vladimir Zelensky's advisor, Oleksiy Adestovich. Therefore, Vladimir Zelensky received two big blows. Yes, that's, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. One after the other. If nothing else, his psychological state is not good, especially if it turns out to be sabotage from within. There you go, guys. Those are, uh, like I said, the, the, those things are going to come to people's minds, right? It's just such a freak accident, as they like to uh, call it, that, you know, you're going to have questions and all this speculation. Uh, but again, regardless of what conclusion you come down to, the fact of the matter is that the, these are major blows to Zelensky that the Russians aren't even involved in. They're literally, the Russians are advancing from the east, there's these rumors of this large offensive. Meanwhile, you have Zelensky's uh, cabinet literally crumbling through resignations and freak accidents. Like, it's, uh, you know, the, the writing is on the wall. Uh, the state security service, SBU, announced that it is investigating and examining various possible causes of the crash, including uh, violation of flight rules, technical malfunction, and the deliberate destruction of the helicopter sabotage. The aim of this flight was to go to one of the hotspots of our country where battles are taking place. The interior minister was going there. Ukrainian president advisor Kirlo Tomashenko told Ukrainian television. The head of the national police confirmed that interior minister Denis Monatursky, who had been appointed by Zelensky in 2021, was killed. Also dead are his deputy minister, Yevgeny Yenin, 
and the Secretary of the Ministry of Interior. When Ostersky, who was appointed by President Volodymyr Zelensky in 2021, was in charge of Ukraine's police and internal security and is the highest-ranking Ukrainian official to be killed since the war began. Nine of the confirmed dead were on board the helicopter. Ikor Klimenko also noted, adding that the crash in Braveri resulted in the death of the leadership of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Ukraine. They were on board the helicopter of the State Emergency Service. Dead are, and here's a list, Minister of Internal Affairs Denis Monastersky, First Deputy Minister uh, Yevgeny Anin, Deputy Minister of the Ministry of Internal Affairs Yuri Lepkovich, uh, Tatiana Shutyak, Assistant of the Head of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, Mikhail Pavlushko, Head of the Minister of Security, Nikolai Anatsky, Photographer, Three Crew Members, Alexander Valisenko, Konstantin Kovalenko, Ivan Kazinov. Uh, uh, incredible. Um, Monastersky, 42, was a lawyer and politician. He secured a seat in 2019 in the 2019 uh, parliamentary elections with Zelensky's party. He served as head of the Parliamentary Committee on Law Enforcement and replaced Arshin Avakov as Interior Minister after his departure in July 2021. Uh, British Home Secretary Zuela Braverman called Monastersky a leading shining figure in support of the Ukrainian people during Putin's illegal invasion and noted that she had been impressed by his determination, optimism, and patriotism. Uh, so we have footage here. Uh, let's actually go ahead and take a look. This is after the wreckage. Um, and you can see there's a, a lot of fire. Uh, apparently, uh, it seems to be that according to reports, they might have just uh, filled the helicopter up with fuel. And that's the reason why there is so much fire spread all over the, the grounds here, as you'll see here. So you can see, guys, um, th this whole, it literally looks like a missile drop there with how extensive... Uh, the fire is there. Very, uh, very shocking, definitely, especially for the people that, uh, you know, lived uh, around there. As you can hear the screams there. Um, so, uh, okay, we have more footage here. It's kind of blurred out, though, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Ukraine's National Police released footage from deadly helicopter crash site in Braveri near Kyiv. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Looks like the fire was already dying down in this one. You see the firemen there trying to... I believe that's the kindergarten where the uh, helicopter crashed and resulted in the death of some children. And they're very sad, of course. You can just see the helicopter is completely destroyed, incinerated. Wow. Wow. Wow, that is incredible. A serious blow to the Ukrainian government. Russian uh, political scientist Alexander Duchok reported, I cannot say that these are global changes, but of course the position of the head of the Ministry of Internal Affairs is a serious position in the state structure. The current Minister of Internal Affairs was not as influential a character as his predecessor Avakov, but nevertheless he represented certain political forces and occupied quite serious, a quite serious position. Under his control, he had armed formations such as the police, which, again, are being very strict there in Ukraine. Uh, literally, they're prohibiting the people from speaking Russian, so... Yeah. Uh, he had great influence in Ukraine and in many countries of the world. From this point of view, it is, it is clear that there will be a certain struggle for who will occupy this chair. In general, the death of the head of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Ukraine will not affect... The foreign and domestic policy of Ukraine, I would disagree with that. Of course it's going to affect it. The, the man just died. How, how could it not affect it? You, can, you just don't replace people. They're not just robots. 
uh, it will just be a local permutation. It is unlikely that this will destabilize the situation. Again, they're trying to downplay the gravity of this. Because nevertheless, decisions are made and agreed with the Western script writers. In general, there may be local clashes in Kiev that will not lead to serious changes. Well, they're right that the West is pretty much controlling everything that's going on, but this is only going to create more chaos uh, and drive Zelensky mad. Uh, so it's going to make things a lot more difficult to you know, micromanage on the battlefield with these things taking place around Zelensky. Um, other Russian analysts disagree. They say that it is perhaps a pivotal development as the Ukrainian army and society are at an impasse. Uh, yeah, I, I would definitely agree with that there. Um, three days of mourning declared in Bravari. Acting Minister of Internal Affairs Ior Klimenko said that the investigation is doing everything possible to establish the cause of today's catastrophe as soon as possible. Video of the first minutes after the helicopter crash. So let's go ahead and take a look at this here. So pretty similar to the uh, other video we saw there. You can just see all these all these trees are literally burned. Yeah, massive, massive crash, massive fire there. Um, when dead Ukrainian minister wished Putin dead alive. So this is the part I wanted to read here because apparently uh, this man wished Vladimir Putin's death. Now, I'm sure a lot of people wish his death, but for a politician to say it on live TV is uh, very uh, unprofessional, some would say. The death of the Ukrainian Minister of the Interior, Denis Monastersky, during the fall of the helicopter in a residential area of Kiev has become the first topic in the world's largest news agencies. So far, the exact cause of the tragedy has not been ascertained, however, what is sensational is that some pro-government Ukrainian media have already blamed the Russians. Uh, you know, we we saw Zelensky there in his speech not going that far, but he did say it was because of the war. I don't know how a uh, malfunction in a hop helicopter could be related to uh, the Russians, but again, they're pretty much going to blame the Russians for everything at this point. Uh, they are talking about the highest-ranking Ukrainian official to die since the start of the war. War News 24-7 secured a video documentary with some very interesting statements from the now-deceased Ukrainian minister. Live on camera last June, he wished for the death of the Russian president. So last June, last year, uh, he wished for the death of Vladimir Putin saying that this is the only way to end the war and stop Ukrainian puppets uh hiding in bunkers and he even seems to be smiling when he says it i hope so he characteristically replied to a journalist questions question about whether whether putin's death is near so again guys uh careful with what you say because it could come back around to bite you that is the truth so let's go ahead and take a look here um we'll see if we have a translation of Russian attack. We're oh, he's speaking English. Bunker. There's another alert at this moment. When does this stop? How can this stop? Uh, I think it should be a Putin death. By our efforts or by efforts of Russian people. And do you think Putin's death will be soon? I hope it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, looks like uh, he passed away before uh, his prediction came true there. So, again, careful with what you say, guys. So, at least 15 dead from the helicopter crash. Uh, French President Emmanuel Macron today expressed his regret for the tragic death of Ukraine's interior minister, Denis Monastersky, in the crash of the helicopter carrying him noting that his thoughts go out to the victims of this tragedy, which, according to a recent account, 
It claimed the lives of at least 14 people, among them a child, according to the emergency services revised report. So this is the saddest part, those uh, those children uh, that were there in that uh, kindergarten. Our thoughts go out to all the victims of this terrible incident that took place near a kindergarten, the children and the families, the French president said in a message on Twitter. Uh, so there you go, guys. Uh, condolences coming in from around uh, the world. Um, so again, what's the big picture here? The big picture is that uh, very uh, catastrophic things are happening to the leadership there in Ukraine through resignations and freak accidents. Uh, and again, I think this all spells uh, the writing on the wall, right? Uh, that the collapse is imminent. Uh, these could be supernatural signs um, that, you know, uh, Ukraine is about to fall. Uh, again, there's rumors of a large offensive, and I'm going to I'm going to make a video on that. That might be my next video here, so uh, stay tuned for that, guys. Again, the truth is stranger than fiction. Make sure you give the video a like, make sure you share, and make sure you subscribe for future coverage. I'd appreciate it very much. Also, if you want to support the channel, check out the links below in the description. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.